Hello everyone. This video tutorial is about numerical differentiation and numerical integration of a signal in MATLAB. So for numerical differentiation, I have selected signal as displacement and I'm going to differentiate to get velocity and acceleration using gradient function in MATLAB. For numerical integration, I have selected acceleration and I am going to integrate that to get velocity and displacement using cumulative trapezoidal rule function in MATLAB. This video is, uh, is a new video of series of vibration analysis which are available on my channel playlist vibration analysis. So for numerical differentiation, why is required? So sometimes So a vibrometer or displacement pickup may a displacement of vibrating system in time domain. And that is usually if it is a forcing function or is a, even if it's a free uh, vibration, so then it is in the waveform. So and sometimes velocity and acceleration is required in waveform during vibration analysis. So I have selected displacement so which is in the form of cosine wave and I am going to differentiate that to get velocity okay and then acceleration so the function which can be used to perform numerical differentiation is gradient so gradient function here, here is in the MATLAB help so you can read about more about uh, this gradient function. But what does the gradient function do? Uh, it finds the gradient of a signal, like as here, uses a uniform spacing between the points in each direction, and it uses return x and like as gradient f, return x and y components. So what I am going to select here, I am going to use gradient. So f of x is a gradient f return one dimensional numerical gradient of a vector f. The output fx correspond to derivative of f with respect to x, which are differences in horizontal direction. The spacing between point is assumed to be one. So when like if you know that what is the spacing or what is the difference between the points on the horizontal axis, so then you can define it f and then h. So if you are using that gradient with two input argument f and h, it uses h as a uniform spacing between the points in horizontal direction. I am using MATLAB here, live script and the numerical differentiation of signal as a sine wave. So I have created a signal as cosine wave time I took four seconds and omega is equal to pi so I got that data which contain time and x so here is the data it contain time and x and then here the spacing between that data is uniform spacing and it is 0 0.01 because here for the time I have used that 0 0.01 but it is a uh, this signal is I have generated but when you are going to measure this uh, signal experimentally so then you don't you have to first find out that what is uh, what is the time uh, spacing on horizontal axis so now first I am going to plot that so here I have figure one so I'm going to plot time versus displacement okay so i am i run that part of the signal and i am going to maximize this one from here so for better visualization okay so now i have here so that is the displacement so i have created this signal but it will be different from when you are going to my uh, a, a signal experimentally so now 
uh, what I have. So this is a signal, and it is not in the form of a function, but this signal is uh, in the form of numeric numbers. So now, so that is I have plotted, and then I need to differentiate this signal. So to differentiate this signal, what is required? So I need to h. I need first h, and so for h, for data d dot p, which is the time here, mm -hmm. you can see, and for that one, I find the difference of that data, and then I took the mean. So let's say I'm going to display here, and the displacement is 0 0.01 second. So then I can use that data dot v. So I am using here data as a table form. So I am going to say uh, save that in data. So it is gradient data dot x. So that is what you are going to differentiate. And then x here, h here is the which I have just calculated. It is the difference. So by running this command, I'll get that data as v. So, and here so, uh, in the table, that data is being added. So, is a new column here, V added. So, I am going to plot that now. So, that is a figure 2, data T versus V. Okay. So, that is data dot V. And I am going to run that one. So, now I got velocity versus time so that is the numerical integration of displacement waveform to get velocity so the next one differentiation of velocity signal and for that one i'm going to run that part and now i got in the data the next column is acceleration and it can be plotted so this is our figure three data dot t and acceleration so i am going to run that one and then you can see here that is acceleration versus time so i can output see output in a line so that that is the displacement function which i have created and then i differentiate it so differentiation of displacement signal so i got that velocity signal and then i differentiate velocity signal to get acceleration signal next i am going to integrate a signal so an accelerometer usually measure acceleration of our British system in time domain as waveform. So sometimes velocity and displacement is required in waveform during vibration analysis. So now I have created acceleration signal, which is a sine wave, and I want to integrate it to get velocity and then to get displacement. So function which I can use in MATLAB, they are cum cumulative trapezoidal. So, what that, so cumulative trapezoidal numerical integration. So, what it does here, so Q cumulative uh, come traps x, y integrate y with respect to the coordinate on the scalar specified by x. So, here I am going to use T into x integrate x with respect to the coordinate on the scalar spacing specified by T. So I have created acceleration as sine of omega t and omega is equal to pi and time is equal to 0 to 4 seconds. So now I have got that data and this data is that data is a table containing time and acceleration. So I am going to use it as maximize it. Okay. And here is output on the right. So now what I have in the table, in the table I have time, that is the first column, acceleration as a second column. So I'm going to plot it to check how the signal looks like. So I'm using figure one to plot data, time on horizontal axis and acceleration on vertical axis. So now I got that acceleration versus time. So acceleration on vertical axis and time on horizontal axis. 
now i am going to integrate that i am going to integrate this fun uh, this waveform or uh, this signal to get velocity so data v so i am going to uh, save velocity in that data table using cumulative trapezoidal rule and integrating like time uh, acceleration with respect to time so when i'm going to run that one only this part so now i'll get that in the data i got a new column which is velocity here you can see so time and then i got acceleration and then velocity so now i'm going to plot that velocity so that is a plot data dot v just to check it so this one when i'm going to use that cumulative trapezoidal rule of numerical integration so what i got i got velocity from 0 to 0.6 but what we have learned in uh, like during functions if acceleration it is from minus 1 to 1 so the velocity should be in both positive and negative region and the mean is at zero but this one its mean is not zero so when the mean is not zero so then we have to use another function so the next function you can use here is d trend so what the d trend do d trend data it compute and subtract the mean value from each time domain signal in the data so it what it will do for uh, what it will do it will find the mean and then it will subtract that mean from that data so it will become aligned and here in the matlab help you can see there is a d trend so d trend data so what it does that compute and subtract mean value from each time domain signal in data and it is used for input output data and sometimes we use type so subtract the trend you specify in the type so type may be mean value or a linear value or custom trend you can define here if i go to the type so in the type is zero compute and subtract the mean value or compute and subtract linear trend using least square fit so i am just using here d trend data So when I'm going to detrend data, so then its mean will become zero. I'm going to save that detrended function uh, as v1. So I'm going to run it, and now that is being saved in data as v1. So here, so that is a detrend function. It is saved in the data as v1. So now I'm going to plot to check. If it is detrended properly, how it is required. So now I'm going to plot time versus v1. So v1 is detrended data. So I'm going to run it and then see. Now you can see here. So that is the detrended function of velocity. So here the velocity is now its mean is zero, and it is it is how like when you are going to differentiate a sine wave. So it must become a cosine wave. This one I'm going to integrate velocity to get displacement. Now for integration of velocity signal, I am going to use detrended signal, which is data v1. So now here I am going to integrate detrend uh, velocity, and you can see here. So in the data, there is a new variable added as a column which is x so now i'm going to plot that one so as a figure three i'm going to uh, plot time versus displacement and here we are so that is the displacement and because here the acceleration is a sine wave so the displacement is inverted sine wave now you can see all those inputs in line using here so the first one i created a signal which is a sine wave and then i apply 
numerical integration to that so it will become uh, it is now a cosine wave but it is a, it is like somewhere centered around 0.3 so then i use a function d trend so d trend to get that data mean about zero so that is a, i got and then further i integrate that velocity to get displacement and again this dis, uh, displacement is that is centered along zero i hope you find this video in vibration analysis series uh, helpful so thank you very much for watching